the Happy Families Podcast. It's the podcast for the time poor parent who just wants answers now. We are pretty hardcore on only picking one or two things maximum that we're going to work on this week. Too many things to work on is overwhelming and we make no progress. And now here's the stars of our show, my mum and dad. Hey Kylie, we've had an email come through to podcasts at happyfamilies.com.au asking about the whole family meeting thing that we talk about a lot. Uh, My name's Justin, by the way, Justin Coulson. I've written a bunch of books about raising happy families and you, Kylie, are my wife and mum to our six kids. Every now and again, we talk about how we coordinate stuff as a family. We've kind of got this thing where we talk to the kids pretty regularly. We talk to one another pretty regularly and we even go away every now and again. And a listener has emailed us and said, what's the deal with the meetings? Uh, We want to be more organized. We want to be more on the same page. What are you doing? So we have three meetings and I thought we should kind of talk about it. And I hope it doesn't sound overwhelming to people because while I've been jotting down all the stuff we do, it's kind of like... Man, are we a bit over the top on this? I don't think we are, but it, it could feel like it if somebody doesn't do this sort of stuff. I think when you're first starting out, the idea of having three different kinds of meetings would be really, really overwhelming. Yeah. Oh, and I didn't think about the meeting that we have about having the meetings. <laughs> <laughs> but but over time, we didn't start with three meetings. No. We only started with one. Yeah. And, and over time, we recognised <laughs> that we needed to include the children in the process. Do, do you remember what we used to call it? The, the, the meeting that we just had before we had kids? Our weekly couples inventory. <laughs> we called it a – well, it was it was short, shortened to WCI. Hey, we need to have our WCI. How do we come up with that? Well, that was all you're doing. Yeah, it kind of was actually. Yes, it, because <laughs> the background, a little bit of background, I grew up with family meetings. We yeah. called them family councils when I was growing up. And unfortunately, my family wasn't too good with communication. And so we would end up all bearing our grievances about the week or the month or whatever was happening. <laughs> just a big family fight. And before you knew it, everybody was upset or angry at someone and it was just disastrous and there wasn't really a lot of positive that came out of it. So when you and I got married, we had this beautiful relationship. We really had an argument, if a disagreement. I I think we had one disagreement in our first year of marriage. It was just bliss. And and, and when that happened, we were like, what's going on? Oh no. (laughs) But then we started having these weekly meetings and all of a sudden, every time we would sit down, I would end up fighting with you yeah. and, and you would look at me like, what? where has this come from? We're just talking about what we've got to do this week, honey. Like, let's just go through the calendar. You don't have to get cranky at me. And, and if you haven't worked out, Justin is definitely someone who likes to improve. He doesn't like to just stay stagnant and just sit there. And so whenever we would sit down to have these meetings, inevitably he would want to know how we could be better. Yeah, well, and, and, and it wasn't like I'm saying, Kylie, you How can need you to- clean the house better, Kylie? <laughs> I wasn't saying that. I mean, it, it is true that I did notice that some things hadn't been dusted and mentioned that once or twice. But, but it was more about, um, I really love what we're doing and um, I, I'm really happy with the life that we're living. It wasn't like we were doing everything wrong or, or anything wrong. It was just that I like things to continue to get better and better and better and that's why we're having our... Well, well we, it has taken me 20 years to work that one out. Yeah, it has. And we still have our moments. <laughs> you don't you don't like it when I say, I wonder what we could do to be better. You're like, can we just be happy with where we are? But I'm one of those continual improvement kind of guys. I just, I always want to be better as a human. I want my family to function better. We want to, um, we want to improve and get better and take on bigger challenges. So we, from the very outset, have had this weekly couples meeting and it's very different today to what it was 20 plus years ago when we first started those meetings. Yep, when we were inventorying. <laughs> That's right. It was kind of it was That was kind your of way of, that was your way of creating detachment for me so that when we sat down I didn't feel like we were having this family meeting. Oh, That's, That's how it came right. about. Yeah, 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 because I was like I don't want you to get all emotional about this because <laughs> it's not an emotional conversation. There's no criticism here. It's just a conversation like how are we going and how can we do stuff better? And you'd be like, "No, oh, you're telling me I'm not good enough." And it, it was pretty full on. It was. So that's one of our meetings. And we'll go into some more detail about exactly what happens in that meeting uh, in just a minute. The other meeting that we have on a weekly basis is... Well, that came about because we added to our family. So we started 
right. with just us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. But obviously, as the children have come along, we recognise that we don't live in a dictatorship, that our children <laughs> should have a voice as well. Yeah, and so we created the family meeting that yeah. we have once a week with them. That we don't call a family council because that <laughs> would bring up too much baggage for you. So we just call it a family meeting. Uh, every now and again, we do actually have a kids council. We say, kids, you just go and figure it out and come back to us and let us know what you've decided. That only works sometimes, though, because usually the big kids just dominate the little kids into submission and say, we're going to do it this way. And the little kids are like, oh, that's so unfair, but okay. So we've, we've created this family meeting that we have. We have our couples meeting every week. And once a quarter, that is every term, every school term, every three months, you and I go away and we have a couple's uh, we call it a couple's immersion. We immerse ourselves in one another and in the stuff that we need to work out to make our family function well. And that couple's retreat or that couple's immersion is, it's become our lifesaver, hasn't it? It really has. And, and let's be real, sometimes it's not every quarter as we would like. It, it gets stretched out to four months or six months, depending yeah. on our babysitter's availability. Yeah, that's right. I, I, I don't know if our mums are listening to this episode <laughs> or not, but... Um, we, we haven't had one for this quarter where and, we're, and we are feeling it, aren't we? Like this has been a really tough term to get through because we haven't had that, uh, that, that immersion. So what we're going to do is take a quick break now that we've told you what the three are. There's a weekly couples meeting. What do we call that now? Do we even have a name? Do we still call well, I haven't Yeah, called we just it. call it WCI. Do we? I haven't called it that for, it feels like about a decade, but maybe we do. Uh, maybe you do. Uh, then we have our weekly family meeting and we have our quarterly immersion. We'll tell you what happens in each of those right after the break. It's the Happy Families Podcast. Are screens creating tension at home? Tweens, Teens and Screens is a webinar to guide families to healthy, safe, super screen solutions. Buy today at happyfamilies.com.au slash shop. It's the Happy Families Podcast, the podcast for the time poor parent who just wants answers now. And today we've been sharing some of our family meetings and the way we structure things so that we can all be on the same page. Yeah, it's about organisation central. Yeah, aligning our values, our principles and our calendars. It's it's in response to somebody's email via podcast at happyfamilies.com.au. How, how do you do these meetings? What goes on in these meetings? What meetings are you having? And it's also kind of tied in with a question that I get all the time, and that is how do I get my partner on the same page? And it's about having these meetings and talking about your values and the stuff that matters most. Ironically, even though we're having three meetings, we pretty much answer the same three questions in each meeting. It's just that the context changes. So the family responds to these three questions one way. You and I, when we have our couples meeting, respond to it slightly differently. And then when we have our quarterly retreat, that's kind of like the big picture. But it's the same three questions. It's the same structure. And it's a game changer. Can I talk about where the quarterly immersion came from? Of course. Okay. So a few years ago, when I started running the business a little bit better than I had been previously, I realized that about every 90 days, I needed to create some sort of a strategy to make sure that I knew what I was supposed to be doing so that I could pay my staff and and help to pay for our mortgage and all that sort of stuff. And I found that those quarterly strategy sessions with my team really made a difference. And it helped me to reach more people and be more helpful to people. Like it was just, it was a game changer. And I thought to myself, wow, this strategy thing's amazing. The more I thought about it though, the more I realized people actually put together business plans all the time. And they put together financial plans and they put together holiday plans and they put together like education plans for their children. People are always planning all this stuff. And yet we say that our family is the most important thing in our lives and we don't put together a plan for our family. And so I actually said to you, we're doing our family meetings every week, uh, but I feel like we're just sort of spinning our wheels and we're having our couples meetings every week, but I don't feel like we're kind of having the gains and the progress that are are important to me because I'm a constant improver kind of guy. I said, what do you think about going away every quarter, every 90 days? If I'm going to do it for my business, my family's more important than that. What if we were to just disappear for two nights? And I know not everyone can do that, by the way. So sometimes I'll just take a day off work and we'll have our immersion at home that day while the kids are at school. That's a, it's kind of like a poor cousin to it, but sometimes that's all you can do. And since we've started to do that once a quarter, We've changed the way our family feels. We've changed the dynamic because of the planning that goes into it. If you're going to spend all that time planning your holiday, I think that it's only reasonable that you'd spend all that time planning your family decisions, family values, family direction. Well, again, let's be a little bit real about this. This is actually really important for our marriage as well. The opportunity we get to have a couple of days away without distraction, without responsibility of children to be together. You really like hugging me. A lot. I'm not going to say anything else. 
But we do like that time away, don't we? we it's do. good for a couple to have time away from everyone and everything. Uh, so the three questions that we ask ourselves uh, at the quarterly immersion, at the weekly family meeting and at the weekly couples meeting are? What's going well? What's not? And how can we improve? That's it. That's the, that's the entire structure. When we talk about what went well, we spend as much time on that as we can. We love hearing what the kids think about what's going well. Where do we feel like our couple relationship's going well? How's the family going? And when we do the the big one for the quarterly immersion, that what's gone well over the last 12 weeks, that's a big conversation. Like that's a that's an hour-long conversation. Yeah, so I guess the, the focus changes significantly because when you and I sit down and we have a conversation about what's going well, we're actually talking about our own individual lives and we hold each other accountable to that. So we, we'll talk about our exercise routines or you know, whether or not we're getting enough sleep or diet. or We talk about our spiritual practice. We talk about our life balance, whether or not I'm working too much, whether or not you're volunteering too much. Like We, we work through all of that sort of stuff and talk about what's going well. That's right. And in that process, is we'll also you know align our calendars so we know what each one is doing and what each one is carrying you know we've, we've each got different loads to carry and so we can see as we go through that process you can see where you might be able to alleviate some of my strain and vice versa um, and so those things are really important when we go into the family situation though we're not talking about what you and I are doing well we're actually talking about the family dynamics what's gone well in our family this week yeah how morning's going or uh, is everyone happy with how meal time is or are we, are we all getting to bed on time what's happening on our Who, weekend who's doing their chores are they yeah. getting done you know well um do we need to have a change up of the chore chart um you know all of those kinds of things come into play and then when we get to have our quarterly getaway we're asking much deeper questions we're looking at you know how is our family functioning mm. We're not just looking at the day-to-day stuff. We're looking at the big picture the really important thing is the last question though and that is what are we going to do from here because once we've identified where we're winning and where we're really struggling, sometimes the struggle list is very, very long and it's tempting to say, well, we need to fix this and this and this and this and this and the list just is, is overwhelming. We are pretty hardcore on only picking one or two things maximum that we're going to work on this week or this quarter uh, and that's where we stop. Even though there's so many other things we could work on, too many things to work on is overwhelming and we make no progress. So that's kind of... That's kind of it. I mean, there's a big agenda when we go away and it's probably worth quickly mentioning some of the things that we talk about. I don't think we can go through it all because while we're gone for two nights, we spend, I reckon, 75% of that time cuddling, (laughs) talking about what's on the agenda and the agenda is not just about cuddles. Uh, No, there are lots of different things and it changes every time because our family dynamics are changing All the time. Yeah, every time. So we might talk about diet and exercise. We might talk about kids and technology. We might talk about discipline and routine. We might talk about reviewing our family principles and how we're doing with teaching our children and instilling those principles into their lives. Um, We might talk about... Well, we, we also finances. We, we we go through that. We also pull out the calendar and say what are the major events that we need to schedule or that are coming up. We'll plan upcoming holidays. We talk about their extracurricular activities. Uh, I mean, there's so much stuff to go through in terms of planning how the family is going to function for the next twelve weeks. Get all the stuff in the calendar that needs to be there. It's a pretty intensive couple of days away and there's been a couple of times where we've gone away and had all these conversations and you've been a bit cranky because there hasn't been time for cuddles because there's so much to talk about. There is so much to talk about and what happens in family life when we don't give ourselves that time and that that distance and space to to have these conversations is we have half finished conversations you know pillow talk as we're falling asleep or you know when we're waking up and we're trying to race into 101 things at a time and and so we never actually really get to make improvements or even decisions sometimes about what needs to happen because we're constantly on the go so I don't know if this has been helpful for you or not, but hopefully it has. If you'd like to be more aligned, be more on the same page, get your values more consistent with one another, or just be better at scheduling and getting the routine sorted out so everyone knows who's supposed to be where, when, and how, uh, or just if improvement's your thing, you might find that this little planning system can be helpful for you. The weekly couples conversation, the family meeting, and once a quarter getting away for, even if it's just a day, and talking about everything that needs to happen in the family to make it function well. We hope that this has been a helpful conversation for you and that you've enjoyed the podcast. If you do love the podcast, we love seeing your five-star ratings and reviews pop up on the Apple app 
the podcast app. So please leave them there so that others can uh, discover the podcast. The more ratings and reviews you leave, the more times uh, the podcast will pop up in people's feeds. As always, we appreciate the work of Justin Rulon from Bridge Media. He's our producer and Craig Bruce is the executive producer of the Happy Families podcast. If you'd like more info about making your family happier, you can find it at happyfamilies.com.au. Thank you.